Huffington Post put together an article about the media treating white suspects better than black victims. And I have to say, even coming from a guy who follows this stuff on a daily basis as my job, I was floored. And it made me think that the level of racism in America is still much higher than even I thought. And it's not, see, this is the thing that's tricky about it. It's not the old school Bull Connor style racism where it's Alabama sheriff screaming the N-word and sicking dogs on people and using fire hoses, right? It, it has morphed. It's gone more underground. That overt racism, pe people know they can't say stuff like that in public and get away with it, and they know that those are not acceptable things to say or believe. So what they've done is they've internalized it and they've muted it a little bit. And then what happens is subconscious or under-the-surface manifestations of racism where people might not even realize that they're being racist and they're being racist. So I'm about to give you some headlines here which will prove that white suspects are treated better than black victims. And keep in mind, the point here is not to say that there's this massive media conspiracy where they all get together and say out loud, okay, how can we spin all the black people as bad and all the white people as good? Because that would actually be actually be less nefarious than what's actually happening. What's actually happening is there, there are all these different parts, all these different media, you know, companies around the country, whether it's local, state, or national, and what ends up happening is people don't even realize it, but they end up expressing more sympathy for white suspects than for black victims. So, here's the evidence. White suspect. These are all headlines, might I add. Theater shooter was brilliant science student. Black victim. Michael Brown struggled with officer before shooting. White suspect. Alabama suspect. Brilliant, but social misfit. Black victim. Montgomery's latest homicide victim had a history of narcotics abuse, tangles with the law. White suspect. Son in Staten Island murders was brilliant, athletic, but his demons were the death of his parents. Black victim. Trayvon Martin was suspended from school three times. White suspect. Oregon school shooting suspect fascinated with guns, but was a devout Mormon, his friends say. Black victim. Police say slain Lakeland teen had been shot before. Death, possible drug-related. White suspect. Santa Barbara uh, shooting suspect was soft-spoken, polite, and a gentleman, ex-principal says. Black victim. Ohio man was carrying variable pump air rifle, not a toy, when cops killed him. White suspect. Ohio shooting suspect, T.J. Lane, described as a fine person. Black victim. Deputy killed Marine out of fear for children's safety, officials say. White suspect. Straight-A student plots to bomb high school. Black victim. Shooting victim had many run-ins with the law. White suspect. Bank robbery suspect was outstanding Blue Hills student. Black victim. Police. Warren shooting victim was gang member. So these are all from different local news, state news, and national news outlets. And like I said, there's no conspiracy where they all get together and say, let's spin it to make all the black victims look evil and all the white suspects look good. That's just where people's natural sympathies lie. And it's not nefarious in the sense that they're saying, I am racist, I'm going to be racist. But their natural sympathies are pretty fucking racist. Now, you can fire back and say, Kyle, that's anecdotal. This isn't like a scientific study. It's just some Google research and people slapping together an article. Fair enough. You could take it with a grain of salt if you'd like. But keeping in mind the number of murders and deaths and shootings that there are in the United States of America and doing research uh, yourself and looking into it, this may be anecdotal evidence, but I consider it strong anecdotal evidence. Because we're not even talking about... I mean, think about this, man. We're not even talking about white victims versus black victims, or 
white suspects versus black suspects, okay, we're talking about white suspects versus black victims. Victims almost by definition deserve more sympathy. But even with the, the playing field slanted from the jump, there's still a clearly uh, overt bias in favor of white suspects over black victims. Look, man, people don't want to acknowledge it, but racism is alive and well in the United States of America. And what I would like to see is white people to own up to this and to say, okay, I get it. I get it, black people. I see why you're mad. <laughs> uh, there's a new, unfortunately, a new young black man every week getting killed. A little bit of understanding would be greatly appreciated instead of the rolling of the eyes and saying, here we go again, here they go complaining again, which unfortunately a lot of white people do, especially a lot of old white Republicans.